There is this strange school. The students don't have to attend classes or study. The only task is to wash their faces. Every day the girls had to go under the camera, scrub their faces continuously for 10 minutes. They could not leave until the green light came on. If they accidentally miss the time to wash their faces, they will be dragged away by the security guards directly and never come back. These girls are adopted by the school since childhood. The instructors told them it's the end of the world out there. The air is highly toxic, so every day they had to take a vitamin tablet to detoxify. And every year that passes, the girls would move to a higher floor. On the day they moved to the 16th floor, the instructor told them the course was over. Soon a rich man would come to adopt them, to live a good life without pollution. Everyone was very excited, especially Nana, because she was the best girl in the class. But her friend Annie was preoccupied. She told her secretly, don't take your vitamin pills tonight. Soon it was time to take the pills. Everyone was surprised to find. Today's pills were blue. Nana was a bit suspicious, so she put the pill in front of the camera, put it in his mouth, then quietly went to the bathroom, spit in the toilet. As a result, she soon found out that something was wrong. When she was sleeping, she often said good night to the girl next to her, but the other girl did not answer. That's when Annie sat up and said, no need to shout, they won't wake up, because those vitamin tablets, their sleeping pills. At that moment, there were footsteps in the hallway. Annie rushed back to bed. The instructor led the security guard into the dormitory. Nana, who was pretending to sleep, Nana and the other girl were taken away. They were taken to a common room. Then the instructor brought in a middle-aged couple. They started to pick them up like shopping. The male customer kept praising Nana for her beauty, and the female customer went to the mirror. She lamented her aging face. Finally they chose another girl. Nana was sent back to her room. This night, the girls were taken away one after another. Nana took the opportunity to run out, only to find that all the doors were locked. She heard the instructor bargaining with the customers. Finally she realized that these rich people weren't adopting. They were trying to buy them. She rushed to tell Annie the news. She wanted to escape from here together. Little did she know what Annie found was even more horrifying. This group of 16-year-old girls stood in a row, under the watchful eye of the camera, took a blue pill, but this girl, but quietly hid in the bathroom, and threw up, because it was a strong sleeping pill, every night, a girl would fall asleep, quietly beaten away by security guards, for the rich to pick out, friend Annie said, herself stopped taking the drug when she was 13, she found that, people have to sleep 21 hours a day, and there are 4 classes here, while they were sleeping, the girls in the other classes would wake up, to go out to eat and take medicine and then sleep, alternately, for a short period of time, each day, all the girls were sleeping. It was the perfect opportunity for them to get out. But first they had to get an access card. And it just so happens that on this day, the doctor was going to give everyone a vaccination. Nana finds the doctor very nice. He might be able to help them. But before she could figure out how to ask, a girl suddenly convulsed and passed out. And on Ebrion's arms, all had terrible bruises. Nana went to the doctor again, trying to ask what happened. But she accidentally revealed that she hadn't taken sleeping pills. And the doctor, who was always kind, immediately gave her a shot of concentrated sleeping pills. And then, Nana was put into a cage by the instructor. So the doctor and the instructor were in cahoots. And the doctor is the real mastermind. Meanwhile, Annie came up with an escape plan. She made a rope with a bed sheet and pretended to sleep, waiting for the security guard to come in alone. Before jumping on him, strangled him by the neck. She managed to get the access card. She rushed to save Nana. But just then the alarm went off. Annie left a message, trust me, and turned around and left. The next day Nana was released. And Annie had been arrested. But the access card wasn't on her. The doctor was furious. The instructor personally gave everyone a sleeping pill. Soon sleepiness set in. Nana stabbed herself in the hand with a hairpin, trying to stay awake. In the haze, she touched the bedside. She found her access card. It turned out that Annie had left herself the opportunity to escape. She ran out of the dorm. She ran out of the dorm and attacked the instructor who was alone. She also injected her with a concentrated sleeping pill. She also gave her a taste of what it's like to be in the dark. She struggled to the roof of the building. The freedom she so desperately wanted was close at hand, but she hesitated. This girl has been held captive for 16 years. Once she pushes open this door, she will be completely free. But the girl hesitated for a few seconds but turned to leave. She was going to save her friend. She uses her access card to get to the bottom of the building. It was eerie. There are cages everywhere. And Annie is locked up at the bottom. At the end of the cell is a special room. Behind a translucent curtain, there were three corpses. They shutter it and pulled open the bag. The sight in front of them scared them out of their wits. It was the girl who had been taken away before. But her face was no longer there. It turns out this is not a refuge of doom. It's a base for the rich to get their faces changed for eternal youth. Those vaccines they gave, they were actually matching the rich women's faces. A great sense of fear came over her quickly. Nana wanted to leave immediately, but Annie insisted on saving all the girls. She used the access card to wake everyone up, but the funny thing is, with day after day of brainwashing, not only did the girls not believe Annie, instead, they wanted to call security. The moment of truth, Nana pulls out the knocked out instructor. Pulling back the hair, a suture of a clean lemon appeared. She was also a person who had changed her face. Now, everyone finally believed. This 
horrible truth. Together we put the instructor in a metal cage. Then they went to the top floor. An eager girl pushed the door open first. Unexpectedly, the ear-splitting alarm sounded throughout the building. They scattered in fear and ran away. But the security guards were in pursuit. Nana and Annie hid in a warehouse. Then the doctor approached them. He continued to bewitch them with lies. Because Nana's face was the most beautiful of all the girls and the most valuable. He had been waiting for 16 years for this. Hearing this, Nana directly raised the scalpel, destroying the evil doctor's dream with her own hands. Just then the security guard got a call, forced to take the doctor away. It turned out that he was just a puppet. After an unknown period of time, the door to the warehouse was opened, the sunlight never seen before. The sunlight that had never been seen before was on the faces of the two girls. They were finally saved. The setting of this film, Fame 16, and Escape from Clone Island, are set, are almost identical. Face transplant, organ replacement, the same doomsday scenario. Easily brainwash these spare parts, let them wait for death with expectation. But the difference is, this film takes place in a group of young girls in their prime. It is more chilling.